I mean, I'm just gonna start right away because. <sighs> yes. Steph Kicks Family, SK Squad, YouTube, what it is. It's your boy, it's your guy, it's your homie, Steph Kicks. I'm back at it with another video. Yeah. You good? What's up? Today's video is a collection installation. The very first of its kind to my collection. And I'm very excited about this. So without further ado guys, let's get into it. But before we do that, you know we gotta take care of business. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for coming back. If this is your first time here, on the Steph Kicks channel, what you get is you get the hottest information on the latest releases coming out, mall vlogs, unboxings, and reviews. If that's something you're interested in, welcome to the family. Please make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel down low. Now let's go. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing good, feeling a lot of positive energy this morning. <sighs> that fall air is upon us. It's feeling good. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Jordan 14 Hyper Roy. Wrong shoe. Sorry. We are going to be reviewing the Jordan 14 Hyper Royals. And guys, this is the very first sneaker in the 14 edition that I am installing into my collection. So I'm very excited about this. Initially, I did want to get the Candy Cane 14s, but that didn't work out for me. I took a L. Without further ado, let's get into the sneaker. Already got this pair out. So let's take out the other pair. Set this box down. Place this one right. The Jordan 14 Hyper Royal dropped on September 19th for the retail price of 190 USD. This is an impressive sneaker for me because even though I'm not the biggest Jordan 14 fan, this sneaker and the candy cane, as I mentioned before, are the sneakers that I like the most. And maybe the Ferrari 14 as well. Those three sneakers are really dope. And I'm sure there's a few others that I can't remember right now that I think I would pick up and include into the collection. But as for right now, those three, top notch. Of course, they were designed by Tinker Hatfield, a shoe designer for Jordan brand for many years. It's a unique design, and it's one of the designs to me that can be made or broken depending on the colorway. There are a few Jordan 14s that I've seen that are just straight basuda, like this pair. And this pair. Ugh, hideous. Interestingly enough, of course, sneakers gave your boy the W. Only on GRs I seem to be hitting. And I'm okay with that, but at the same time, Nike, Hook your boy up with some hype stuff, you know, some off-white, some something. Oh, let me look official. I gotta impress the people, help me out. I was also really, really shocked to see that these sold out so fast. I remember seeing so many people on IG, on Twitter, talking about how they sold out on Foot Locker and other foot sites. That, to me, is crazy because this was just a normal GR. It was just a normal sneaker and they sold out. I did not expect that, but Nonetheless, it happened. So maybe other people needed them for the same reason to add to their collection because they don't have many 14s. What I really, really appreciated about this sneaker in terms of the detail, it has two different leathers. So you have your normal leather here on the front, tumble leather on the side, which is really, really nice. I really appreciate it. It's so soft and buttery. I really like that about this sneaker and about the quality of the leather because it gives that feel of a different texture and I really like that. I'm also not too big of a fan on so much white, but at the same time, when you try them on, 
They look nice and clean. You wear them with, with your nice, fresh white and blue Steph Kicks t-shirt and you are set for the streets. Shameless plug. Order your Steph Kicks apparel now. I've had a chance to see the Candy Cane 14s and I've noticed that on the side where you have the different colors, for this pair, it's a glossy type of blue and I'm hoping the sun is helping you to see that. It's really, really nice. I love that touch. You have your carbon fiber on the bottom. The sole is, is really nice. Your blue jump man on the bottom. And also one of the things that I do not like about the Jordan 14, the tongue. No, the tongue is, I'm sorry, it's terrible but it is what it is. The reason I don't like it is because of this little bar that goes right through the tongue. I get it, it's different. You've got your Jordan on the front and then it says 14 in Roman numerals on the back. The shoe is designed after a Ferrari, so it's gotta look different. As for the back of the shoe, you have the 23 written really big with the Jordan symbol on the back. I do like that touch of the sneaker as well as the cuts right through I really like that, that's pretty cool. Also something that I'm realizing right now, which gives a really nice touch to the sneaker, is this area here, right in between there, the carbon fiber cuts out and it's a mesh section there for the shoe to breathe and your foot to breathe when you're wearing the sneaker. That's a really nice touch. Tinker. Good job, buddy. I've tried them on and they fit true to size. So guys, again, before I get all the DMs about whether they fit true to size, yes they do. I don't mind answering your questions when you DM me or when you comment and ask those questions, it's okay. I'm just letting you know now so that you see it in case you haven't watched this far or in case you have watched this far, they fit true to size. I was also reading too that it's actually real carbon fiber and it kind of does feel like it, I mean, Nobody's really gonna be able to investigate that and prove if it's real carbon fiber or not. Maybe that's a selling point for, for Jordan brand and Nike, but maybe it is, maybe it isn't. You also have the Jordan symbol on the side, also the silver plates on the laces, like that. They, didn't re they did not come with any alternate color laces, which to me makes sense. I really would not try to put any different color laces on this sneaker. The white laces seem to work just fine for me. Either black or a blue probably wouldn't be my style. I like to keep it real simple, so white laces for me for sure. Now I've got a Jordan 14 and I'm straight. Whoa, 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 whoa. guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's move those out of the way real quick. Do, do, you, do you own AirPods? Give me just a second, I got something to tell you. If you're like me, your AirPods go everywhere with you. I take them to the grocery store, I take them to work, I take them to my room, I take them to the bathroom. I take them everywhere. But it's so important for us to accessorize our AirPods, especially since nowadays everything is wireless. So why not accessorize your AirPods? I've got the perfect solution for you. I've teamed up with the Hype Case Store and they've got some of the flyest AirPod cases for the first generation and the second generation. They've got so many cool ways to accessorize your AirPods. I'm gonna link their website down below and also when you go on the website and you make a purchase. <laughs> Shh. I'm gonna put you onto something. So they gave me a code, right? And anytime you wanna purchase, just use my code. It's StephKicks32, 10% off. This is one of the best ways to accessorize your AirPods. You can even match your sneakers with them, kinda like this, and have them looking just as cool as you do. Just make sure you tell them Steph Kick sent you. Now back to the video. Before we go guys, just wanna do a quick shout out to a few special people. First of all, my crew, Souls Out. Guys, please look out for us. We got big things on the way. Right now, we're just a crew that's really nurturing ourselves in the sneaker world, watching other crews and see how they move, and we're gonna make sure that we do our thing real soon. Shout out to the homie Ray the Gem. Follow him on IG, Twin Gemini underscore 89. Don't forget my guy Josh, at Sneak Peek with Josh. My guy Debo, at Debonair Lifestyle ATL. 
We all have YouTube channels and we're all just trying to further the sneaker culture. Please follow our IG accounts, subscribe to the channels. I'm gonna make sure that I link them all down below. Shout out to the squad. I also wanna shout out a few people that I've been coming up with in the YouTube world. A few people who have recently hit 1,000 subscribers on their channels. My guy Sonny Kicks, he's pretty much at 1,300 already and is growing every day, doing big things for the sneaker world. My sister K Fresh, she just hit a thousand subs. She's been doing a lot of big things. She's got a very versatile channel. Make sure you go check her out. She's representing for the ladies. She keeps you guys up to date on a lot of steals and deals. Make sure you check out her channel, dope content. Follow her on IG at kicks for fresh and last but certainly not least the homie d reed make sure you go follow her she just recently hit a thousand subs as well but is growing so fast follow her at d reed's heat that's two e's doing a lot of big things she right now as far as i know she's the only one that hits on everything on sneakers it pisses me off but it's all right at least somebody out here that i know is winning Salute to everybody. Let's continue to further the sneaker community and the sneaker culture, guys. Steph Kicks family, I really appreciate you guys tuning into the channel today and reviewing the Jordan Hyper Royal 14s. It's been real. Let me know in the comment section if you had a chance to cop yourself a pair and what do you think about them? How do they feel when you put them on? Please make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel down low. As we always say, shoe love is true love. It's your boy, Steph Kicks. Thank you again for watching, and I'm out. Yeah!